Ultra UI Sign Goku has just been leaked by the Dragon Ball Legends team. We know it's confirmed right now and in today's video we're gonna talk about the top 3 best teams to use for him when he drops. So let's go. Okay guys, so we're here on dblegends.net. We know Ultra UI Sign On is coming. They actually leaked it themselves, so that's pretty funny. At, at this point I'm pretty sure it's on purpose, like every single UI Goku has been leaked, you already know about that. But yeah, we know he's coming, what we don't know is actually his color and his typing. Even without knowing all that, we can still throw him on some teams and see what we can cook up. Obviously, once you know his typing and his, uh, his color and his ultra ability, you're gonna be able to build proper teams. But for now, just keep in mind those teams that I'm gonna show you today are just a baseline and from here you can obviously modify the, the main units, the bench units, depending on what he is, on your box and stars, what you have, what you don't have. Obviously there's a lot of factors to take in when you're building teams. But yeah, I'm gonna start with the first team. I'm gonna show you on my phone the team I built for him. It's Universe Reps. Obviously this is like maybe the newest tag in the game or db is the newest one but still this tag is not too old and it's it has been receiving buffs the whole year from january all the way to december they've been getting buffs constantly so this is a really strong tag right now and let's just assume ui is melee type you can obviously throw him in with goku frieza they're a melee type unit 17 is pretty much a must for this team because he he glues everyone together his utility is still insane and let's see, if he's ranged, you can obviously replace Goku Frieza with Evo Ken, and then again keep 17. 17 is already range type, if I remember correctly. So, where does it say? Right here, range type. So, yeah, definitely 17 will work better if this guy, this new Ultra UI, is ranged. And then you have Evo Ken and 17. But for me, for example, I don't have Evo Ken, so I'm still probably gonna try him out with. This guy, even if he's range, you also have this guy as an option. Uh, again, it depends. If the new Ultra is green, obviously <laughs> it's gonna be a bit messy. You cannot really build this team, but I don't think they would do that. We just got this guy who's green and we got Goku Bardock who are green. So I don't think we're gonna get another green unit or another red unit. So that leaves purple, yellow and blue up for grabs. But still, like Goku Freeze are both purple and blue. They're not that old, they're still viable. And for yellow, I don't know, if he if he comes out with uni reps in mind, he might be yellow. Even though we just got this new Golden Frieza, he's definitely replaceable by Ultra UI Sign Goku. So yeah, this is pretty much the, the main lineup you wanna have for this team. Obviously, there's also full power Jiren. His Zenkai is amazing, so if you don't have Goku Frieza or Evo Ken or 17, replace one of those with, uh, with this guy, with full power Jiren. Also, UI Sign is still really decent. Uh, obviously, the UI sign you see up top here is to replace the new Ultra. I, I think those are pretty much the viable options for your team. Maybe Kawei and Heat if you want to cope them on the team. Jiren and this Golden Frieza. Uh, Master Roshi, not really. I would say just stick to, to Goku Frieza, Evo Ken, Full Power Jiren and 17 and maybe this guy the revival ui if you have him at least like six stars or something like that but yeah that's pretty much for the main setup for this kind of team again it depends if if he's rage or melee and for the bench again you want to take that in consideration for me as you can see here i have 17 because at 14 stars at least he has a really good z ability at 14 stars he gives 35 percent to uss and android Base strike and blast attack is 35% and then another 15% to strike defense to USS. So everyone on this team is gonna get it. Even if he's six stars or higher, it's still a good option. He gives 30% and 12%. So that's pretty good. I would say he's a solid bench option for this team. Then I put uh, Master's Ultra Instinct. I mean, mine is 14 stars, so it's a no-brainer. Again, this guy has double, uh, I think it's still double uh, attack, not here, here. So 3% to strike damage inflicted for USS and 38% to god key USS and same base strike and blast attack during ba during battle. Again, I I usually like to build uh, my teams like more offense offensively strong than defensively. So I'm trying to go with double offense if I can. And even if you have them 6 star or higher, you have the ability 3, which is plus 2% to strike arts and then you have 30% to strike and blast attack. 
So another great option, another good option would be Beerus. We're talking just bench right now. Uh, this guy again at 14 stars, 3% to special move damage and 35% to base strike attack and defense. Again, if he's a melee type, if he's a range type, you might want to try and consider maybe this guy. Uh, AGF, I think he's 3% uh, to blast and then 35% uh, to blast attack and strike defense. So really good in this meta to have a strike defense. Oh, and then, pam pam pam. That's pretty much it for bench options as well. If you really lack all of these units or if you don't have them like more than six stars, maybe you can, you have this Champa, who is, he's pretty old at this point, but he gives 35% to Gatki and Rival Universe base strike and blast attack. Unfortunately, in this case, it's just Gatki and Rival Universe. So no unit reps, so forget what I said. He's not, uh, he's not gonna be great because he's not buffing this guy or this guy. So yeah, never mind. Oh, and I think that's pretty much it for bench options. I mean, I forgot to mention God Topo. He's also a really good bench option. He gives 35% to both strike and blast attack at 14 stars and at 6 stars 30%. So yeah, definitely use God Topo if you're missing any of the other ones. This guy as a free to play unit. I think he gives 33% to both offenses. So uni reps, base strike and blast attack. So this guy is free to play. If you have him 14 stars, he's definitely a really good bench. 33% to strike attack and blast attack from a free to play unit that buffs uni reps. It's just ideal. So yeah, if you're really struggling, throw this guy on the bench. And obviously you have to have a health buffer on every team. In my opinion, it really helps to like keep the team's longevity together, you know, like you, you just need a health buffer, okay? So the only one for this team is actually Bergamo. He gives like 20% if I remember correctly. At 14 stars. He's also an old unit, so you should probably have him at least 6 stars, you know? So 18%, that's still better than nothing, okay? And yeah, besides that, I would say this is pretty much the lineup for uni reps. Again, depending on what he is, you, you can go melee, you can go range type, it's up to you depending on the units you have. For me, as I said, I don't have Evoken, so yeah, I'm probably not gonna use him on uni reps, assuming I pull him, uh, if he's range type, you know? So yeah, let's move on. Now let's talk about the second team, it's none other than, you probably guessed it, Sound Family. This guy is definitely gonna be on Sound Family, so we have this Gohan, we have the new Ultra UI, I know his ultra ability is not gonna be for some family. The only reason I have this Gohan in the leader slot on this setup is to be able to give a, a health buffer to the team. And yeah, but once again, we have Ultra UI and uh, Goku Frieza together. Obviously here you also have a lot more options. Like if he's melee type, this is one of the setups you wanna consider having this Gohan and Goku Frieza. If not, you can put, instead of uh, Goku Freezer, you can put Goku and Bardock if you pull for them, if you have them. They're a melee type, they're a pretty strong unit. You also have this guy as a good option. If they're range type, again, go with Evoken. You can also go with this guy, Path to Power Goku. Unfortunately, Path to Power Goku has been nerfed by the Rising Rush update. It is what it is. He's still a pretty decent unit, but not a lot of people use him. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but if he's melee type, you have this guy. This guy has an option, the Revival UI. But some families mostly, it has melee type units that are really good. Like this Gohan, Goku Bardock, this guy LF Nameku. You have, mm, I would even say maybe Tact Force. They're not that great anymore, obviously. But an option to consider if you have them like high stars. Dragon Fist got a plat, he's still a decent option. Again, we don't know the UI's color, if he's gonna be green, yellow, red, blue, whatever it's gonna be. You wanna try and consider some options. And another great option, let's say you don't wanna build this kind of setup where if this guy is like range or melee, he's gonna be offensive. This guy is melee, he's offensive. Those guys are melee, they're offensive. Maybe you don't want to like extra focus everything you have on just attack, attack, attack. And for some family, you obviously have Pan as an option who is like still the best support in the game in my opinion. I don't think he's another unit that supports as good as her. Plus, at high stars, she can still tank pretty decent. She can go neutral with her main ability, which helps her longevity in the game. 
and also for some freaking reason every time she does a blue card at least in my opinion she does more damage than i expect to so she can still do some damage obviously now it uh, you're gonna be wondering who do i kick out of the team you know like i would say just kick out goku frieza they are good but they're not irreplaceable at this point i feel like this gohan on some family is a must even if he's range type I would still probably throw him together with this Gohan because he's such a great unit and then put Pan as your third and yeah that team should be cooking. If we go down the list we can obviously see a few more viable options like this guy is still pretty decent super same for Goku, this guy is another support unit. I would recommend it in this meta to like really focus on yellow units because UVB is still running around, uh, the new Beast Gohan is almost in every single match. So I'd kind of stay away from yellows, but if you have no other option, like, you can use this guy for sure. Uh, you have this UI sign, who's still pretty decent. And the more we go down, the... Yeah, we're not gonna see anything viable, so this is pretty much your main lineup. Now for the bench, again, uh, in this video I forgot to mention I'm not gonna be focusing on Zenkai buffers, because I, we don't know his color yet, but I, I guess I can show you options for Zenkai buffers for each team, but yeah, I don't know how much sense it makes right now, but still, I'm just gonna be talking about main bench unit that you would use either if you want a Zenkai buff him or not, those are still good bench options at 6 stars or higher. So we have the, this Nerd Gohan, for me it's 14 stars, I managed to do it from the, the Beast Gohan banner. And this guy at 14, he gives 3% to special move damage for sagas from the movies. Obviously, this is not really gonna help anyone except the unit in the leader slot. I mean, if you have Pen here, and then you put this guy in the leader slot, and this guy here, this is gonna work. So you get 3% to uh, sagas from the movies special move damage, and 35% to base strike and blast attack for movies, some family, and hybrid set. So that could work really nicely, even a 6 stars, it gives 2% with 30%, so that's still really good. And just so you know exactly what I meant by this, let me just quickly build it the way I just, I just said, so you're not confused. Let's go for some family. So let's say uh, you don't use Goku Freeza on this setup, you wanna use Pan. Then you replace this guy with this guy, like this. And then you're just gonna kick this guy out. Pen is already a health buffer. You can either put another hybrid health buffer or a movies health buffer. Like for example, I can put I can put Goku. Uh, where is the Heraclan? I think it was. Yeah. So you can put Goku. This guy is actually giving 20% health to movies and an extra 22% to base strike attack for Heraclan. And that means that UI, Ultra UI being in the leader slot is gonna get that extra 22% to strike damage. So this is another kind of setup you can build. Uh, then this guy doesn't work here anymore because Pen is not a Super Saiyan or a Saiyan and same for Gohan. For the previous setup, you had this guy as well. Let me just show you, his e ability is 35% uh, to both offenses at 14 stars. And at 6 stars, I think it's, uh, it's 30%, so still a great option. But th this guy is for Saiyan and Super Saiyan, so if you if you want to use Gohan outside of the leader slot, this is not going to apply to Gohan, so maybe you want to change this guy as well to something like either Movies or Hybrid Saiyan, because both this Gohan and Ben are Hybrid, Movies and some family. So you can definitely find another option, I'm going to look for that in a second. And yeah, as I said, you want to have your health buffer. So let's say for some family, if you want to replace this guy and you have, uh, I don't know, who has a good Z ability for some family? Right now, there's no one that really comes to mind to replace with except this guy from some family because he, he literally gives the same thing, 35% to base strike and blast attack. So if you build a team like this, you want to replace this Namegoku with... Uh, with that, uh, with that Goten, let's go to Hybrid Saiyan and Yellow. So you can do something like this and then you have double offense on this guy, double offense on this guy, health on this guy, health on Pan, offense and defense on this guy, and I'm assuming probably offense and defense on the, on the new Ultra. So this is a pretty cool setup in my opinion. As I said, if you're going for a blast based setup, use Evoken with the new UI. 
and then you can use Path to Power or Revival Goku. So yeah, maybe even this guy, I'm, I know he's not great, but it is what it is. Also, if you don't have Pen and you have this guy, you can use this guy as a support unit as and someone you can tank. I don't have this guy, I never used him. I don't know if he's actually good or not. Some people say he's good, some people say he's bad. But I would say instead of Pen, he can actually be a viable option. Oh yeah, I just realized. <laughs> instead of Goten, you can 100% put this guy on his, uh, his Z ability. So if you build the team like I have it on the screen right now, you can use this guy 35% to base strike attack and defense. So that applies to movies and hybrid. So both Pen and Transforming Beast gets that, plus an 18% to characters that are both movies and hybrid base strike attack. So all of them are gonna get what? 35 plus 18, that's what, like 50... 53? Yeah, like 53 base strike attack just from this guy. So definitely, if you build a team like this, the Sun family, uh, use that guy and I'm just gonna show you just so it's not confusing like this okay so if you build this you're gonna have a lot of offense on this team pretty good defense pretty good health so i think this this sun family team is actually better than the one i initially showed you the one i showed you was with goku frieza so if you just throw goku frieza out and use those guys obviously it depends on his color if he's purple definitely this is gonna work really well red red purple uh but yeah uh, we'll see i guess we'll see but this is a pretty interesting setup in my opinion like i i kind of like this a lot of uh, freaking offense but yeah i have 14 star units so that definitely helps me out a lot but still even at six stars all all of these guys are viable options for patch so now i'm gonna dive into the final team of the video and this is a leader slot setup obviously with the leader slot you can put him on any team you like but i think this is an actual viable setup for him to leader slot on his tags are still God, Ki, and Saiyan. I'm not really gonna take those in consideration right now because God, Ki is all over the place. I'm not sure what God, Ki is at this point, you know? It's just a lot of Saiyans and yeah, that's pretty much it. And Saiyan, again, it's such a broad and weird tag, like again, all over the place. I wouldn't even try to tell you what exactly to build with this tag because they don't have that kind of synergy that you need. But yeah, the final team I'm gonna be talking about is UI Leader Slot on Fusion Warriors. Fusion Warriors is a great freaking setup right now. Let me try and find the, find the tag right here for you. So if you go to Fusion Warrior, we have obviously have UVB who is still a great unit. You have Gogeta Blue who aged like fine wine. He's still really good after the... in late game, he still becomes a great unit to use. You just want to make sure you survive with him until then. Then we have here Paikan Gogeta, who is a fantastic unit in my opinion. Like people have been underrating this dog, but he's actually him. At least for me, like the amount I've used this guy and I'm still using him to this day is crazy. His utility is really good. That provides a lot of green cards, revives, combos for a long time, post revival. Like he has a long range blue card, which is really good in this meta. I really consider this guy a, a viable option for for fusion warriors and for movies and here is the setup you have like your three main units you're gonna have ultra ui in the leader slot with uvb and pike and gogeta i did throw this guy on the bench for me because he's 14 stars so his e ability is really good he gives i think special move damage five percent to fusion warriors so everyone gets it and then 42% to base strike attack and defense. Everyone gets that as well. Really good the ability at 14. I think even at six, he has a really good the ability at 38%. So if you pull this guy two times, you can definitely throw him on the team. Now, the other guy I put on the team is this guy, simply because Super Vegeta, at, again, at 14 stars, if you don't have him 14 stars, I, I'm pretty sure there are better options. We're gonna check in a minute. But this guy at 14 stars he gives 30% to strike attack and defense and 12% to max pace health. So really, really good the ability. He gives you offense, defense and health, but only at 14 stars. At six stars, only 20% to base strike attack and defense, which is not that great. But if you have 14 stars and it so happens that the, the new UI is purple, you also have a Zenkai buffer. But still, this guy is great on the bench. 
but 12% health I feel like is not enough so I also threw in this guy who again at 14 gives 20% health so that's a total of what 32% health so that's really good overall for the team and if you don't have let's say UVB or UGB I'm gonna be honest you cannot build this team <laughs> if you don't have this guy your second be best option is this guy as a main unit and if you don't have this guy or this guy then just don't build fusion warriors I don't think there's enough good units here to work plus this team is more melee based I mean even though Pike and Gogeta is not uh, it's a defense type and I think he has higher he has higher blast attack but for me at least I built him a I, I build him a strike every time I use strike equips on him and he does really good strike damage and yeah but if you if you're looking for a melee kind of team I don't think fusion is it you know like if this guy is ranged just scrap this team if he's defense or support or melee it could work just because like those those two units are really strong together they help each other out and this guy is just gonna be good on any team to be honest like I don't think they're gonna restrict him in any way so he, him in leader slot is gonna be viable on any team so definitely wanna take advantage of that and for other bench options if you don't have let's say you have UVB you have Pycon Gogeta and you don't have Ultra Gogeta Blue I would say hmm, this is tough because Fusion Warriors don't really have a lot of great options what does Gotenks do? He's a new unit, probably a lot of people pulled for him and at 6 stars he gives 30% to base strike and blast defense and then some 15% to strike attack. Mm, not great, I wouldn't go for it, I'm not a fan of double defense but if you don't have anything else to do you could do that. Uh, maybe this guy? I remember him at 14, he's an old LF so probably a lot of people have him at 14 stars, 38% to base strike attack and defense I think that's pretty good and who else this guy if you have him at 14 stars he gives you a 35% to both strike and blast attack and even at 6 stars he gives 30% so that's you can work with that and obviously if you don't find anywhere fusion, any fusion warrior unit that actually helps you out as much as you need to this guy is also good, 35% to base strike and blast attack and an extra 18% to fusion order and GT so that means the extra, this extra only the leader slot unit is gonna get it but that's still good enough. So yeah, if you don't have anything here, since here I forgot to mention Ultra Super Gogeta who is also a great option, he has basically the same Z ability as Ultra Gogeta Blue, 5% to special move and 42% to strike attack and defense at 14 stars, even at 6 stars, I mean 8, he still has a decent one so definitely consider him as a bench option as well. One second, since all of these units are actually Saiyans as well, you can also go into the Saiyan tag. And also got no got kit this guy is not got okay so you can also go into the same tag and pick some units up from here for your bench it's not gonna hurt too much it's just gonna affect the ultra ability for this guy because he wants to be on a full fusion setup but if you really don't have this guy or this guy and you're struggling to find another bench option just go into saiyan check the abilities out there are some saiyan units that have really good the ability like this raditz for example it i know it's a random unit but up uh, from the top of my head I remember he gives 35% to both offenses to Saiyan and Saiyan Saga at 14 stars he's a 1% he's old a lot of people should have him 14 by now and yeah I don't know off off the top of my head I can't remember another unit from Saiyan but I'm pretty sure if you start looking through them you're gonna find another option and yeah I mean Pretty much those are the teams I was thinking about. Obviously, again, it's gonna depend on his color, his typing, all of that. But another team that maybe you can have success with is actually movies and put him in the leader slot. So that would mean you can use his Gohan with Icon Gogeta and then the new UI in the leader slot. So that's also a really good option in my opinion. Uh, if you really want to force him on a team with Janemba, you're gonna have to use either Janemba or un on uni reps because I'm assuming he's gonna have the uni reps ultra ultra ability. So if that's the case, you're you're gonna have to put Janemba on uni reps or put 
uh, the new Goku on a region team. I don't think region is super viable right now, besides Janemba and maybe Orange Piccolo. You can cope those two together and put the new UI in the leader slot and use UI with Janemba, which is going to be pretty disgusting. But personally, I think I would go for the movies, not for the movies for the song family setup, this one, or for the maybe for a movie setup, as I just explained earlier, with Pycon Janemba and Pycon Janemba, Pycon Gogeta and Transforming Beast Gohan. And then obviously the bench can be the same. I mean, I mean, this is basically movies, what you see right now on the screen. You just, you just put instead of Pan, Pycon Gogeta, and you have movies. <laughs> this is this is the setup I was trying to talk about. And obviously you're gonna you're gonna swap bench units to Zenkai buff whoever you want, depending on what color the, the new unit has. But as ba baseline bench options, I think whatever I showed you in this video are good enough, even if they don't give Zenkai buffs, I think they're usable. Okay, and let me quickly just show you show you some Zenkai. Zenkai options for for this Goku characters. Can I sort by Zenkai only? Zenkai only, okay. And let's go by tags. First, let's look at some family. So if he's yellow, you have this guy. If he's purple, you have this guy. If he's green, you have this guy. So those three guys. A red option is this guy, not the greatest, but you have this guy and this guy. And for blue option, you have this pen because it's also gonna be some family, yeah, and you have this Goku. So basically on some family you have Zenkai options for whatever color he will be. Uh, let's find Unireps or Saiyan. Here we have Saiyan, so obviously, I don't even know what this guy buffs. I'm assuming he's Saiyan, right? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yellow Saiyan, yeah. So you have Bardock, if he's range type, you can definitely use Bardock as a Zenkai buffer. Uh, for, <clears throat> for purple, again, you have this guy. For blue, you have this guy because he buffs blue god key. Uh, what else? Red, 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 red. Hmm. For red, again, you have this guy. Not the greatest, but I don't think there's any other red that can Zenkai buff him if he's red. This guy? No, he, got, he buffs P.O. Okay, and then what else? Green? Green, green, same. This guy and... Oh, this this guy, I think he buffs uh, Green Gatki, right? Pretty sure it was Green Gatki. Let me double check. Green Gatki, yeah. Okay, so he's an option also for Gatki. Now his other team would be either Gatki or Unireps. I found Gatki. So you have... I think Topo buffs uni reps if he's green. I don't think he's gonna be green once again, but green uni reps. Okay, so we have green, we have purple again. This guy is on every team. We have blue again. <clears throat> this guy is also a purple option. This guy is a blue option. And this guy is yellow, and this guy is yellow option. So you kind of have, and green, green. So you have a lot of options on Gatki as a Zenkai buff. But obviously it's gonna depend on the team you're building overall. One eternity later. Finally I found this tag. Okay, so we have full power Jiren doesn't buff him. Topo again, this guy is Vegeta clan, UI sign again. Bergamo, if he's red, he can actually offer a Zenkai buff or no, I don't think he does. I don't think he does. I think he does rival universe. God damn it, Bergamo. I'm pretty sure because he would have buffed UI sign and he doesn't. Not UI sign, uh, mastered UI, okay. It's rival universe, so this no. Actually, on uni reps, we don't really have a lot of options. What are you? Are you rival universe too? No, she's green uni reps again, okay. So you just have kind of green and purple on uni reps, which kind of sucks, but again, like those tags like God Key and uni reps are tags that are pretty much. They have a lot in common and Saiyan as well. So I'm pretty sure on whatever build you're gonna use him, you're gonna find some Zenkai buffers. Yeah, also I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about equips because there's too much uncertainty at this point if we don't know his typing and his color. All right, I'm gonna leave a link in the description once DNG makes his video because he <clears throat> once he knows the typing and the color, he makes an equipment guide video. So once that's out, 
<laughs> sorry bro i'm gonna link his uh his thing in the top comment i'm gonna pin it and you're gonna be able to also see his equipments once you know everything about him and once that video is out so definitely go check it out and subscribe to my boy dng and yeah that's pretty much for for this video like again we're gonna have to see what typing and color he is but other than that i hope this is helpful if you have any questions definitely drop them down in the comments sorry if this is a long video i was trying to go over everything and cover as much as possible but again depends on your box depends on your stars and depends on what is gonna be so yeah i'm gonna see you guys in the next one make sure you like this video and subscribe if it was helpful and good luck summoning for ultra ui sign goku that has been linked once leaked once again for the fourth time. Peace.